Good day guys and welcome back to the voice update. So guys, I will be talking about what is currently trending right now. You know the case between very dark man Bob Risky, first the bad guy and the Falanas is trending seriously right now. And I don't think this case is going down anytime soon because it has been reported on different news, on different blogs that the court has found very dark man 500 million naira and to take down every videos and post concerning fast the bad guy and the falanas in fact very dark man was ordered by the court to stop making further videos or post anything concerning fast the bad guy and the falanas and nigeria and a lot of uh, persons has came out to react and to speak up for very dark man the likes of dr kemi damikrain kokopi and isaac fayoshe has came out to speak on the court order even very dark man has reacted to this which i will be showing you guys right now in this particular video so if this is your first time of coming across my channel kindly subscribe like this video and drop a comment so guys we woke up this morning to see on the news that the court has found very dark man to pay 500 million naira to the falanas for deformation of character and also order very dark man to remove every post and videos concerning first the bad guy and the falanas like th like this this is getting interesting and uh, getting very serious and very dark man has reacted to this After Very Dark Man reacted to the court order, a lot of persons has came out to react and to speak for Very Dark Man. Dr. Kemi came out to share her own opinion. Dami Crane also reacted to this. And the brother to the former Ekiti State Governor, Isaac Fayoshi, has also came out to talk about the court order. And a very good friend of Very Dark Man, Koko P, also came out to speak about it. So all this video is what I will be showing you guys right now. So drop your comment. Tell me what you think at the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> People know that many elders in this nation will lose respect to the youth of this generation. This is why the elders will lose respect. Most of the elders know the head as elders. They know the head go the direction we go better the nation. Okay, wait, wait. Ever since VDM released this tape, I've been asking one question. Is VDM the problem? Was it VDM that called your name or your son's name? The original person that called your name your son confirmed it that there was a call in between so that voice is authentic now what i expect to see is you giving an ultimatum to bobriski no you did not do that one you saying bobriski is the one defaming you by saying what he said in that tape no you will not do that one the anger you poor have is who gave you the right to play the audio is that not is that, is that not the problem we have here so many videos is the son of nobody video does not have rights to expose what is happening in the country now or it's not privileged enough make this let's let's understand nigerians i want people to explain to me now they brought a notice that video should take the video down if you take the video down what is that going to do for the case wait if like say these people they hide with bob Risky, oh, why is nobody calling out bob Risky? why 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 do you not know the glue bob Risky side i be mean, bob Risky because i don't really understand why the video everybody attack the attack this is a distraction bring down the video you people want to remove trace of video exposing corruption or on another just the happy say the boy the colonel i don't i don't get it to does bringing down the video now solve the defamation does it solve the defamation or does it help the issues in this nation concerning corruption Nigerians, I don't understand though. I know you understand why this man won't use by all means stay peace for our peace team. They won't spoil our chain. But one thing is sure, this is going to be a battle between the good people of Nigeria and the bad people of Nigeria. Nigerians, you are there. No problem. You guys have God the Father. We have God the Father. <laughs> this very dark man case with Falano is the fastest in the history of our judiciary in Nigeria. This case supposed to enter Guinness Book of Record is the fastest. I didn't even know judiciary they are this fast. If they are this fast, how come my tenants are still in my estates? Almost two years. We never even move from one court. How come Rivers Assembly, the one where they can go APC, their matter still they caught up till now? This is the fastest judgment or fine in the history of our judiciary 
this supposed to enter guinness book of record they should call guinness book of record people to come and take this one this is the fastest judgment any human being can get guy judiciary is truly for common man it is truly for common man i am not supporting what he did yes but this judgment <laughs> Is the fastest I've ever seen. Even as of assembly, we see they do inquiry. They never finish their inquiry. <laughs> Court don't fire. Which kind country we day? One law for some people, one law for others. How come Rivers is still in court? How come judiciary hasn't done something about it? So very dark man holding is important, eh? Good evening, Nigerians. This is Dr. Kemi. Earlier tonight, I made a video about VDM and the 500 million era judgment. A bunch of you came on my Instagram and said that Instablog reported it wrong and it was fake news. And I said, I don't want to hear anything about fake news. Okay, I've been a journalist three decades, I've retired, and I really don't read the news in Nigeria anymore. However, this information did not come from Instablog. I didn't read Instablog. I read it on VDM's page. And then I went to other pages and I saw it everywhere. Going on Google... Okay, what I found on Google was even more disturbing. If you go on Google VDM, you'll see stories filtering out of Nigerian newspapers today about a court order that told VDM that he needs to remove the defamatory videos and posts that he made about Fallon and the Sun, and he also needs to stop talking about them. That's a gag order. That's not acceptable in Nigerian society and the Constitution. We have constitutional rights. You may be the next victim of these people. They're trying to silence our voices. As a journalist, I have fled the country. Many of you haven't fled. If you talk, they'll kill you. At the end of the day, this is silencing voices and it shouldn't be tolerated. Nigeria has one of the worst bar associations in the world. The Nigerian Bar Association is highly corrupt. I repeat, the Nigerian Bar Association is highly corrupt and is one of the most corrupt bar associations in the world. Judges are bribed constantly, okay? They receive bribes, they receive perks, kickbacks, name it. They get away with it because we don't have a civilized society. We have a lawless society. And what I want to tell you about this case right now is they're asking him to take down posts and not talk about them because they're legal luminaries and they're powerful. No, we are more powerful. The power belongs to the people. And apart from that, the people have social media. Social media spoke for us in so many activism causes in Nigeria. Social media is bigger than the Falanos. They're nobodies when it comes to social media. Okay, they're nothing but LCFs. Okay, LCFs are liars, cheats, and frauds. They eat from both sides. They talk on both sides of their mouth. The Falanos are not responsible. Mr. Falano needs to tell us who Bob Briskin's godfather is. He also needs to tell us whether he was the one that was going to get the presidential pardon for Bob Risky for money laundering and every other thing Bob Risky has done. And he also needs to tell us whether he was the one that told Bob Risky to stay at home and don't go to the National Assembly. VDM showed up at the National Assembly. He testified. So did the prison officials and so did the EFCC. Where was Bob Risky? Because Father and I gave him advice not to go. Nobody's going to fuck with me when it comes to this investigation. I might be sitting on this bed, laying down, saying I've retired from journalism. The next woman, I'm in that corner of the bed, they're investigating somebody. Now let me say something. Everybody needs to know their constitutional right. The United States Constitution has a clause, or what they call an amendment, which is called the First Amendment. Freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and freedom of the press. Okay, the press can report whatever they want. Every citizen has a freedom of speech. They can say whatever they want, and they also have a freedom of expression. You cannot tell people, okay, to drop or lose their freedoms. A judge telling him to take down the defamatory videos, that's nothing. We're bigger than these judges. This is social media. A lot of people have those videos. Journalists have them. Okay, lots of people have them. VDM has 398 pages on Facebook alone, fake pages that he might not even know that, you know, people have built. The videos are all over. So if he takes it off his own page, that doesn't mean it's not going to go viral still. Okay, I can post those videos and leave them on my page forever. There's nothing anybody can do. Then you gag him and say he can't talk about them. Why can't he talk about them? They have a lot of questions to answer. 
on the Babriski case. We're not closing it up. The EFCC is not telling the truth. The EFCC is lying. The EFCC is saying that we dropped charges of money laundry, but no money change hands. Money change hands. There was a phone call, and Babriski has the phone call. Are you waiting for the part three of the phone call? Are you waiting for the part three of the phone call? Is that what you're waiting for? And then the whole of Nigeria will collapse? The president is involved here. A presidential party was being sought. This should not go ahead. Okay, this should not happen. This should not go ahead. Gagging him. We've not, we've not finished. Okay, we have not finished. I may be outside Nigeria, but I will continue speaking for the people. Power to the people. We believe in the people. We own that country, not you. Not the judges, not the people telling you to keep quiet. I need the name of the judge who gave this order. Somebody get that name for me. Post it in the comments, okay? Because I like investigating judges in Nigeria. Um, I feel God is just using this Falano case to show VDM that he didn't do right by me. Because if it was another person, he would have looked into the evidence. He would have looked into the case. All those things where they talk, when they say David, they hold me money for some. Now, we think David post online at the talk. So, if we don't look into him, even the double dead case, now we think police talk, I talk. Even when I talk, say they try to break into my house where they post CCTV footage. He no come out, can't talk. He no look into the evidences before he come out, can't talk. He was just being. He was just doing selective activism based on favoritism. Later I come out, I say me can apologize. See everything where I talk now, lie, this thing. I did try to tell him, see, I know if you apologize for saying the truth. Because right now they don't even get evidence against me. They just they legally detain me. So if I go apologize, they will not get evidence where they refuse carrying me go court. Now we take on the sub with them. Now after he apologize, where they use the apology as evidence. Mm -hmm. Now 500 million in the day. But I tell them no people small. Donation I did.